In this video, I'm going to be going over the various ways in which I use my trusty iPad Pro and Apple Pencil in my work as a graduate structural engineer to make my life a little bit more easier and productive, which hopefully translates to better and safer outcomes for the buildings I'm helping to design. Alright, so the first way I use my iPad is to write to-do lists, and every morning while I'm waiting for my work computer to turn on, I grab my iPad and open up the app called Notability and start making a checklist of everything I want to get done that day. I usually start this process by looking at my checklist from yesterday and carrying over any of the tasks I didn't quite get to. I really enjoy writing these lists by hand because it's really satisfying throughout the day to check off things as you complete them, and also by the end of the week it's really easy to see where you've spent your time, which makes filling out your timesheet so much easier. Another thing I really like about making these lists is that they make me feel a lot more productive. I don't know what it is, but it's something about making a list and ticking things off that makes you feel like you're getting way more done as opposed to usual, and ultimately at the end of the day this makes me feel like I haven't wasted my time and let the day get away from me. Okay, so the next way I use my iPad is to do hand calculations. And yes, even after you graduate, there are still quite a few tasks that are going to require you to do hand calcs. And in my opinion, it's actually way faster to do a lot of tasks by hand as opposed to trying to type them out or make a quick spreadsheet. Now, most of the time, the company that you work for will already have a PDF template that everyone uses to write their calculations on. And if that's the case, that's great because all you need to do is send it to yourself, import it into Notability, and then you're away. On the other hand, if your company doesn't have a template and everyone kind of just does their own thing, you've got a couple of choices. You can either whip up one yourself using an app like Bluebeam, or you could just use one of the templates from within the Notability app. Either way, it's very easy when you've finished your calculation to export them and send them back to your work computer. Okay, and next let's talk about how I use my iPad on site. And straight away I'm going to tell you that having an iPad here is so much better than having physical drawings, and I've got quite a few reasons for this. Number one is that I don't have to muck around printing off drawings. In the past, whenever I had to go to site, first I would have to go into the office, send the drawings to the printer, wait for them to print off, and then find a stapler or a paperclip to hold them all together, and then finally I could be on my way. And seeing that working from home is a big part of my job, this is a real inconvenience because every time I needed to go to site, I would first have to make a detour to the office. But since having an iPad, all I need to do is send myself the drawings and then I can head straight there. Okay, and the next reason is that I can very easily and neatly write notes all over the drawings. By using an iPad, I've got access to different colors and highlighters all from my Apple Pencil. And this is really helpful when I'm trying to move around site quickly and check things off while keeping everything neat. All right, and reason number three is drawing navigation. If you've ever been out to site before on a windy day, you would know that your pages fly everywhere, but when you've got everything digitally like on an iPad, you've got all the functions that you normally would have when you're at your computer, like scrolling between pages and also the search function. These two features are especially helpful if you've got a large site visit and you've got lots of pages to get through. Okay, and the final reason is that you can take photos and mark up on top of them straight away. Often when you see something that's been done incorrectly on site, you either need to bring it up with the workers so they can make the change straight away, or you need to document the error and follow up on it later when you're back at your computer. If you did have to follow up, typically you would just take a photo with your phone and then leave the annotating until you got back to your computer. But with an iPad, you can do a quick sketch straight away and take any of the brain work out of the computer work you do later on. One more thing I want to add to this section is that I really like the ability of being able to add photos directly on top of the drawings. Being able to do this really helps me to quickly identify what I've taken a photo of and from what angle I've taken a photo from. Alright, and the next way I use my iPad is in meetings. Often there's times where you need to get around a table with other engineers or architects and work out exactly how a project is all going to come together. And having my iPad with me allows me to quickly write down notes and have a copy of any of the material we're going through up on my screen. Now you could argue that you can achieve literally the exact same thing by just printing out the drawings, bringing a notebook and your laptop, but it's just easier to just know that everything's in your iPad and that's all you need to grab and then you're ready to go. And of course we've also got online meetings and here the iPad really shines. You can just just tell that the camera and the microphone quality on the iPad is so much better than everyone's work computer. And because I've got an M1 iPad Pro, I've also got access to center stage. So as I move around the room or I slightly move out of frame, the camera follows me. Okay, and the next way I use my iPad is to access my university notes. When I was at the end of my first year of uni, I decided that I wanted to go completely digital and free myself from carrying around books and the task of having to look after them when I was done. And looking back, this was one of the best decisions I ever made because I can access them no matter where I am and I know that they're safely backed up so there's no chance of losing them. So regardless of whether I'm in the office or at home, I can pull up my whole library of notes, which has made completing design tasks just so much easier. 
Okay, and the final way I use my iPad is to draw sketches. And this is because a big part of being a design engineer, besides being able to do the analysis of course, is actually being able to illustrate how you want things to come together. And what I've found is that by doing a quick sketch on my iPad before I jump into programs like Bluebeam or AutoCAD, I'm able to save myself time by removing all those silly configuration issues. Over time, I think that I won't do as many sketches as I'm doing now, but a lot of senior engineers still seem to do sketches, so I'm glad that I've got my iPad to continue to build this skill. All right, so there you have it. That's how I use my iPad as an engineer. Also, if you're interested in learning about why I think all engineering students should be taking digital notes, you should check out this video here. And if you want to find out whether an iPad or a Surface Pro is right for you, check out this video here. Okay, that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.